Building a Global Collaboration. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 185. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 185, October 9, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the individuality lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of individuality. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of the personal growth lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the beliefs lesson plan, bringing that to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team added links to download files for the transition kitchen and finished correcting the centering and code issues on the page. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued with layers of revisions for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. Here are some of the evolving layouts from the Earth Bay Village, Straw Bale Village, and Shipping Container Village. The core team also merged all of our most current Earth Bay Village files and created a list of revisions needed for Shilsey Augustine, architect, to help us with. You can see some of this work here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 38 of his work that provided the final full quality render for this village so we could update the site with all the images you see here. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 11th week helping evolve the compressed earth block village Pod 4 in AutoCAD and Revit. This week's focus in AutoCAD was finishing the roof and dining area furniture details and final elevator related revisions. In Revit, the focus was on 3D external details and the internal stairways. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued 3D creation of the specific blocks that will be used for the compressed earth block village pod 4. What you see here is his sixth week of this work that also included building our first 3D earth block bench. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally joined the team working on the compressed earth block village. What you see here is her first week of work beginning to outline the landscaping and earth block external spaces and possibilities. And finally, Yi Cheng Ho, interior designer, finished creating the new exploded views shown here for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 
and the shipping container village pod 5. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the dining dome of the Duplicable City Center. We made additional changes to the walls of the dry storage and restroom that are located above the basement staircase. And we also continued developing the aesthetic details around the natural pool and the social dome, including updating the walls of the pool with natural rocks and placing benches around the trees. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued render testing the recycled pipe shelving for the Dubical City Center Library. What you see here is round 20 of her work. This week's focus was colorization of the book elements and testing different art and floor color options. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, continued their work on the city center column placement and calculations. What you see here are completed beam calculations for the second floor and the results of assessing what beams we need to strengthen in the domes to support the fourth floor cupola walkways. Jin Chi Fen, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her fifth week of behind-the-scenes research into this area. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Ashwin Patil, web developer, joined the team and began helping with what will be our new web design. Here's his first week's contribution, the beginnings of a filter design for more easily finding information on the new site. Vasily Bizarov, writer, poet, and professional translator, also helped us translate our solution model to create solution models page into Italian, as you can see here. One community is building a global collaboration, and the way that we're doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. We've broken highest good living down into the key components that we think are essential to creating a sustainable civilization, which are food, energy, and housing, the physical foundations of sustainability, and then combine those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, fulfilled living practices, true earth stewardship, as well as highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation. Our idea is to put these things together and to create teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub that will demonstrate this combination of physical sustainability and emotional sustainability as an evolution of sustainability that provides a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. Through this, through these teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are built to be self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and more importantly, self-replicating, because they demonstrate a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. And they're made to be easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate that level of attractiveness that the idea will spread on its own. Through that, we can create a network, a global network, building a global collaboration of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs around the world, working together to further evolve the open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, so that more and more iterations, more and more versions of sustainable villages, sustainable housing, sustainable food, fulfilled living practices, highest good education, economic models, all of these things can be created through this global collaboration. This is how one community is collaborating and working together with people around the world. We're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that we are the ones that we've been waiting for. There's no point in waiting any longer, that the time is now, and that the resources and the know-how and the technological advances already exist. Everything is already, ex already exists that's necessary to create a completely sustainable planet. We know that this is true. And so we're bringing together the people that share this idea with us and we're doing that. We're building those foundational blueprints and tools so that anybody, anywhere, will be able to create a sustainable lifestyle for themselves, their friends, their family, their local community, their city, and ultimately the entire planet. We believe that it's possible to create a world that works for everybody and that building a global collaboration is the path to doing that. And so we are on a trajectory to hit that tipping point of global involvement that will positively and permanently transform the planet for everybody. This is what one community is doing.
So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, we invite you to get involved. Join us. Join the team. We've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the Pioneer team, which are the core members that are organizing everything behind the scenes, that will move to the property and build everything as one community, that will launch the prototype, to the volunteers that are working behind the scenes or satellite members that are working behind the scenes, volunteering their time, satellite members being a part of the core team, and volunteers just contributing their time and knowledge to help develop everything that we're working on. There's lots of different ways. Of course, the easiest way to participate is to share our information on social media. You know, our goal is to reach that global tipping point of participation where we can transform the planet for everybody. But to do that, we need help getting the information out there. So if you're somebody that is willing to share on Facebook, share on LinkedIn, share on Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, we're on all the different social media networks, about 15 others that I didn't name, to make it as easy as possible. People also ask, well, what is the largest thing that would help one community right now? Well, you know, the idea of building a global collaboration is what we're focusing on almost exclusively right now, but we still need large scale funding to help us get the property that we've been working on, working around or developing around with this idea, an ideal place that people can come and visit and experience. We're still seeking large scale funding to get that property off the market, to get it under the ownership of the five, one, one Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. And so if you or somebody you know has the resources to help us do that, we would love to speak with you. In the meantime, we continue to move forward, you know, taking all the different components, the open source tools, tutorials, resources, everything necessary that we see for building global cooperation and creating detailed step-by-step -step instructions for replication. And those are the instructions that we will also use to build everything that it is that we're designing so that people can come and experience it as one community. They can come and visit our solution model, the open source one community property and experience everything that's there. And if they like it, go out and build their own solution model. And this is why we call one community a solution model and the teacher demonstration hubs that we're creating. A solution model to create additional solution creating models. And those solution creating models are what we'll be building a global collaboration by working together. And we're covering all these aspects, everything that I talk about every week, as well as custom software for tracking and monitoring all the materials and labor and everything that goes into it, all the different components necessary to launch, communicate, collaborate, and create a sustainable world for everybody. We believe that the best way to solve the challenges of this generation, and all generations to come, is to simultaneously address these challenges. And we're doing this because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so our model addresses all aspects, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the fulfilled living models to create a way of life that most people will prefer to the way they're living right now, built on a sustainable infrastructure, and to share that and spread that. This is the global collaboration that we're creating. We invite you to join us. We say thank you for following our progress. Nobody at One Community is paid for what it is that we do, including myself. We're all unpaid volunteers. So uh, thanks to everybody that's following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that we get. Those help to cover our operational expenses of our website. Mainly, it's mostly almost everything around our website and helping to share our message and continue to progress all the open source goals. So thanks for following our progress. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails that we get, the likes we get, the shares that we get, and all the support that we get and all the diversity of ways that everybody gives us. We appreciate it, and uh, we will continue keeping on, keeping on. Thank you.